Do you really want to keep showing slides with plain bullet points and random pictures? Or do you want to lock your audience eyes on the screen? Today I'll show you how to create that, so subscribe and come with me! At first, let's remove them, then for an insert tab, add background picture. Then resize it and add your main object and choose its position in the slide. Now we need a rectangle to hold our title. So add it from insert tab, then in format shape, click on this little arrow and here choose gradient. Then remove one spot and choose vertical direction. Now choose color for each spot using eyedropper blue, then green, and then pink. Now, change their transparency to 70%. Then copy and paste them three more times. Now, from Format Shape, Selection Pan, select all rectangles and align them to the center and then to the middle. But here's the secret. This setup is only foundation because soon everything will change. Now bring the laptop to the front. Also, I like to add another rectangle as a shadow from button because it will make our slides more attractive. Like this, use gradient, but this time in horizontal direction and black color. For the first spot, transparency is 0 and the other one is 100%. Change spot's position and see the magic. Then remove the line and now add your title. But before going to the next part, I should say that I forget to group the rectangles. I'm so sorry, so select them and hold Ctrl and G. Now duplicate this line and push this panel outside. and space them apart. It'll make our morph transition awesome. After that, move the laptop to the center of slide. This is where it starts to feel less like PowerPoint. Adding buttons. From insert tab, shapes, choose this. Draw it here. And then duplicate it and from format shape, Rotate it. Now select both and in format object, change their colors to black with about 60% transparency and the outline color to white. Now add their contents. Then bring the shadow to the front. Also you can select them, copy and in first slide, Paste them and move them behind the shadow. Again, this is for morph. In second slide, shift background a little upward to make parallax animation. Then duplicate this slide. Remove them, click the buttons and move them to the center and to the sides. Again, move background a little upper. Now we should make a slide for each button because when you hover over each one, it redirects you to its content. So duplicate the third slide and drift this to the right side and resize it. Move background a little upper and resize it. Again, duplicate this slide and do the opposite for cones. And delete this and add it from third slide. Now it's time to add your contents instead of bullets to both slides. I also add the contents of pros and cones to the third slide and then remove their descents. Think this is for what? Yes, this is for morph.
But everything mean with action tool. Copy and paste the button, remove its color and the line, or choose action tool from insert tab. Then mouse over tab and link it to the related slide. Do the same for the rest. Now copy them and add to the slide 4 and slide 5. Then fit them in the right way. Again for the next slide. But you are not finished without Morph. Select all the slides and in Transition tab select Morph. Now it's final result, which feels like software you built inside PowerPoint. With just Action Tool and Morph Transition, you make a parallax animation. And that's it. Thank you so much. But here's the thing. This is just the beginning, so if you want me to show you how far we can really push PowerPoint, smash like, drop a comment, and hit subscribe. Next week, next week.